All right. Well, um, I'm just going to take a quick video. So this is a uh, 2001 Peterbilt. It had an Eaton Fuller Auto Shift 10, 10 speed, which is a automated manual transmission. So essentially what it is, it's a, you know, they call it a three pedal automatic. So this was an automatic that had a clutch. So you had to let the clutch out and then it would go. So this truck, um, I just bought it and it was kind of dodgy when I bought it. And, um, it, it worked for a while. I actually, I got like 200 miles on it and then it just quit shifting automatically. I could get into reverse and I could get into manual, but I couldn't get it into drive. So, um, it spent a week at Peterbilt and the dealer actually refused to work on it. So then I took it to the Kenworth dealer and they, they worked on it for, I don't know, eight hours or so and got nowhere. So, um, just a quick video. Um, this is how to convert it over from a semi-automatic to a manual. So, um, if you can't recognize it, that's the top of the auto shift transmission there. And that's the shift rail motor. So there's a rail select and a gear select there. So essentially you um, take all the electronics out, um, which is the ECM over there, wire and harness, and it's, I'm not gonna show you how to do that. If you're gonna do this, you're gonna figure that stuff out. So um, you take the rail selector off, you take the shift rail assembly off, and you call up these guys. Um, I bought this um, from a place down in Florida, but this is where it all came from. So it's a shift bar housing. So it's a 2910R for reman, the gasket, the shift lever assembly, and the shift valve. So that's all the stuff you need to convert your transmission over. Now, the shift bar housing, there's a couple options for it. Uh, I'm not certain you know, where you want your gear shifter and, uh, and I believe that's what the difference is between them. So, and then the other piece of the puzzle is right here. So the biggest difference between a 10 speed manual and a 10 speed auto shift is there's no mechanical interlock to prohibit you from making a range selection while it's in gear. So you could hit the, flip the switch and change gears this guy right here m and uh truck repair m and truck shop i found him on instagram i googled him a uh, super helpful guy so he came up with this wiring harness so this truck's gonna have a conventional splitter to split ranges but rather than changing the range select on the back of the transmission, which was, it's electrically actuated air cylinder. So it's basically got a solenoid valve in it that fires the air cylinder. So um, some people have done this conversion by changing that out, but this kit, you don't have to do that and you don't want to do that. So uh, you put the air lines up to your shifter and it comes down, it's a pressure switch there. And that pressure switch sends a signal through the neutral interlock switch. So you put that in and that way it knows it's in neutral. When you get it in neutral and you make a range selection or you can make the range selection and as soon as you go through neutral, it'll actually swap range on the back of the transmission. You wanna do this because that prohibits the, the range selection. So rather than a mechanical range selection interlock, um, it uses you know, electrical signals, just a digital signal. So this kit, uh, 265 bucks, um, m and truck shop, El Paso, Texas, um, super helpful guy. He knows all the part numbers. He's been through it. So, um, this truck had, um, with the auto shift, it needed to be in neutral to start. So it had a start interlock. I found that wiring and I bypassed it. Um, I've got a little investigation to do to get the speedometer to work, get the um, backup lights and backup alarm to work. I think I have to steal a couple switches out of that shift rail, but as you can see, we got a gear shifter in this puppy. 
the new shift housing was relatively simple to drop in. I just made sure the transmission wasn't neutral when I took it out. So I figured out what neutral was on this housing to drop it in. I just lined the rails up, dropped it in. The gasket kind of sucked to put on. I should have glued the gasket down, but I didn't. So it fought me, but um, it does actually fit up through the floor in this Peterbilt. So uh, the gear shift lever they gave me super long. I guess some people like it, I don't know, whatever, I'll figure it out, but uh, this truck, I'm doing some Dynamat and uh, a couple other things while it's all apart. It was way easier to work on with the seats out, so, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, it does need to go to a Cummins dealer for the engine to be told it's a manual transmission and not an automatic. I don't know what the difference is, but it starts and runs now anyway so i've got that going for me so with any luck um uh, we'll get this puppy converted over and uh, it won't be like driving with a student driver anymore so um uh, anyway so that's it good luck with your project